good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on April 6th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and thank you for joining me today. Are we in spring? I don't think so. Summer ain't coming for a while, let alone spring. But here we are today. We are looking at tornado warnings across mid-eastern United States through Texas and Arkansas. Strong winds, damaging hail, and possible tornadoes. So stay aware and prepared in these areas. And overlooking the five-day forecast for the world. And looking at Alberta, that clipper, we might not get as much snow as predicted uh, two days ago when they were saying 10 to 15 centimeters, but that could change with upsloping snow you can see very tight isobars here, strong winds ahead of the low pressure, very strong winds. So tomorrow morning, stay aware and batten down the hatches because it will be very windy as that low pressure system tries to come in. And we still have the same track of the nor'easters, the low pressure systems heading across. And same with the low pressure systems that are in the Pacific Ocean. Following the same track. A very abnormal jet stream. That is for sure. And that's why it is still cold on April 6th. Now almost two weeks past the first day of spring. So yeah, I'll just leave you looking here at the Pacific Ocean as that typhoon has dissipated and gone. A tropical cyclone down in Vanuatu hitting the Fiji Islands over the next couple days and then heading south and away from New Zealand. And looking through the Philippines and China Pretty clear over China. And still no moisture, South Africa. But yeah, major concern is these low pressure systems heading across our great nation, bringing cold snow temps or snow cold temps and also chances for some pretty severe thunderstorms and tornado warnings in the United States as that cold front moves through. Just gonna have a look at the North Pole. Still not very organized. That polar vortex looks like it's trying to get back together, the two that were split. And then Southern Hemisphere you can see very organized, very strong winds, and very large lows. Hashtag Grand Solar Minimum. Just look at the size of these. As I said, in my 25 years, I've never seen anything like this. You know, 15 years at least watching satellite imagery. Things are changing drastically. And let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Five point nine in Indonesia. This is the last six hours for earthquakes. Most recent being in the Caribbean. This is the last 24 hours since I did the last update. 5.5 Indonesia. And then these couple of other rumbles in Russia, 4.5 and 4.7. Now, Russia doesn't see many earthquakes, but it has been busy due to the 
Mercury retrograde, which is now done. I want to take a moment here to thank you, all of my subscribers and all of the supporters, the people who donate. Thank you so much for all of you do. Much love coming from Medio Mike with Morning Dew. And please share with your friends and family from across the world. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you the same time tomorrow. And this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. It looks pretty hectic with all those magnitude numbers up there. We'll just take those off. Here we are. A very chicken pucked earth with a lot of earthquakes in the last seven days. Now, if this is your first time watching, this is a very active week for earthquakes. So normally it does not look this peppered. Very interesting indeed. Stay aware, prepared. Thanks for watching today. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.